And welcome back to Ozarks Live. We're here with our favorite film guy. Yep. Talk to us, Kurt. What are we focusing on today that's streaming? The star-studded political thriller is the newest addition to the Netflix original films based on a 1996 award-winning fictional book, <laughs> The Last Thing He Wanted. Okay. Stars Anne Hathaway, who takes the lead as Alina McMahon, an investigative journalist reassigned to cover the 84 Reagan campaign, is forced to quit her job and care for her frequently forgetful father. The task goes from sitting by his bedside to taking over his business. But his business may lead to her being part of the story she usually pitches. So this also stars Willem Dafoe, Ben Affleck, and Rosie Perez. Okay, the trailer starts off with a bang, literally, oh, yeah. pretty yeah. gripping. Literally, literally. Um, what's, how's the entire film? I think you're a little mixed on this. Uh, yeah, I'm very mixed on this one. I watched the first 15 minutes of this movie about three times. I had to start over because there's so much story development with the 1980s, and unless you understand the Contra, which is kind of where she's dealing with all this situation in South America and during the Reagan campaign in general, um, I, I was baffled so and there's so much there's there's text that fly on the screen in the opening credits they're too fast you have to literally pause to read them oh really that's how weird this movie is it sounds like a lot of work to it's, watch it's a little movie. too much work yeah. but once we get about 20 minutes in this movie she gets to that point where she's working with her father and and uh, you can see Willem Dafoe who's brilliant in anything he does um, then we get to a story where she's kind of thrown into his business which is arms dealing and it's mm. like what mm. <laughs> And so it, it, it gets better. The, the, the ending's a little predictable. But, you know, it takes a little while to get into it, unfortunately. Okay. How's Anne Hathaway? I think she's amazing. She works really great with these three. Ben Affleck and her are great in some moments. Her and uh, Rosie Perez, which is a photographer, mm -hmm. uh, they work together. And, and it's really nice because they'll call each other a lot. So there's a lot of over phone conversations, but there's a lot of emotion like, I'm here for you even though you're miles away right. kind of thing. So okay. really good. Dual performances from all three of those okay. working yeah. with Anne. Check That's out the trailer; you might like it. Yeah. Well, what else is streaming out there that we need to know about? Couple big movies coming to Netflix this week. Angry Birds 2 comes out tomorrow, <laughs> and the 1996 classic Jerry Maguire comes out Friday. Still love that movie. Also out to buy this today actually is mm -hmm. Charlie Theron, Margot Robbie, and. Nicole Kidman oh. in the uh, film version, mind you, the film version, because there's other been TV versions of the Roger Ailes scandal, Bombshell, mm -hmm. and uh, the winner for Best Actor at the Film Independent Spirit Awards, Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems. Sandler plays a jeweler with a serious gambling problem. As he acquires a rare African gem, he sets up a whirlwind of dangerous consequences involving NBA star Kevin Garnett, his mistress, the musical singer Weekend, and a debt collector who happens to be a relative. Very awkward Thanksgiving dinner there. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so overall, the movie is very negative. It's, it's thrilling. It's exciting. It's a great premise. But everybody, there's no love in this movie. No one actually likes each other in this movie. And so it kind of leaves you feeling hollow and, and mm. uh, kind of negative. Even in the end, any happiness is kind of false ha happiness. And so if you want to see that exciting of a movie, go see it. It's amazing. Great performance by Adam Sandler. Definitely deserves that Independent Spirit Award. award. Uh, he jokes about being snubbed at the, in his acceptance speech and how all the other nominees are going to have to remember that they lost to Adam Sandler. That was, <laughs> that was hilarious, uh, his, his acceptance speech. Yeah, I've heard both sides on yeah. this deal. Some people really liked it. Other people thought they were pretty disappointed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Have Huge you seen it? departure. No, I haven't. Oh, yes. But I'm going yeah. to have to find it. I think he deserves the Razzie this year for the breakout. They give out to an award where somebody that's finally breaking out to real performances. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he'll... You might get that this year. Oh, good for yeah, him. Yeah, I think Adam Sandler surprised a lot of people yeah. in that role. I would still right. like to see it. All right, Kurt, thanks, thanks so Kurt. much. All right, it's time to check out what's going on.